Y'all all right with that? Am I? All right. <laughs> the law had no power to put sin to death in a person's life. God, however, accomplished what the law could not do by sending his only son to be sacrificed for us. See, God knew that the law, the law of Moses, what he's talking about, couldn't stop us from sinning. So he sent Jesus to overcome, uh, to, de uh, uh, to defeat sin, uh, uh, get rid of sin through his sacrifice. And when we come to Christ, we are victorious in that area as well. Sin is sin, believe it or not, sin is not a problem. The problem is us. Understanding and knowing what we have and don't have. Amen. Amen. And what I found out, Crespo was doing a good teaching on this too. We need to stop trying to not, how, how do you put it? We need to stop focusing on the don'ts and focus on the do's. You know, you're trying to not do this. Well, see, when you're trying to not do it, you're operating in the flesh. You're trying to not do it from the out of, well, I, okay, my flesh say, I'm not going to steal. I'm going to try not to steal. If you just follow the word and do what the word says and do what the Holy Spirit says, you won't do that. Mm. Right. You see, but when you try to do it at your own strength, it's only temporary. Because what happens is it has to be a change that takes place on the inside of us. That's right. Unless we change on the inside, we can't change on the outside. A lot of people get married thinking that they're going to change their spouse. If he or she is one way before they get married, if they don't renew their minds with the Word of God, they're going to be that same way and probably even worse once you get married right. because what they believe now, you accepted them as they are. Mm -hmm. So now they feel like even though you got papers that don't matter to them, they're going to do what they want to do because the change didn't take place on the inside. Mm -hmm. It has to take place. We can't change a person. We can show a person how they should live, but we can't change we can't even change ourselves on the outside. God has to work from the inside out with us. That's right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, it is also important that we understand that the freedom that we have been given through Christ's sacrifice is not a foundation from which we can sin freely or without consequence. Just because sin is no problem, just because we've been set free of sin, if you go out and start practicing sin, you're going to get the results of what you practice. Mm -hmm. Even though God has freed us from sin. Romans, you want to turn there. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. The payment for practicing sin is death. Proverbs 10.29 says destruction will come to the workers of iniquity. Destruction. That's the result of practicing sin. Proverbs 11.19 says he who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 11, 20, 19 and Proverbs 10, 29. Proverbs 11, 19 says, He who pursues evil pursues it to his own death. When you practice in sin, there's a, there, there, there are consequences to you to, to what you're doing. Like I said, although all our sins are forgiven, there are still consequences to practicing sin. Now watch this. In some instances, a one-time act of sin can result in a in negative consequence. Mm -hmm. Even though you're not practicing it, let's right. say you make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Let's say you get in the flesh for a moment. Uh, like I said, Jerry, mm -hmm. Jesse called it a bit of carnality. <laughs> but let's say you get in the flesh. <laughs> now, and let's say you go out and you rob somebody for the first time. Or you steal from somebody for the first time. And you get caught. There's consequences now. Okay. Even though you only did it that one time, and you and you and you and you really are remorseful about it, <clears throat> there's still consequences. That's right. So we have to we have to always have to always walk in the flesh. How do I walk in the flesh? I walk in the flesh by living my life by the instructions of the Word of God, directed by His Spirit and empowered by His Spirit. Walk in the Spirit. That's what walking in the Spirit is. Walking in the Spirit is living a life instructed by God's Word, directed by His Spirit, and empowered by His Spirit. Mm -hmm. when, I, when I stay in that frame, walking in the Spirit, then I stay away from those things. Because I'm listening to the Holy Spirit. I'm listening to what He's saying. And He's directing. And say, Have you ever had that voice tell you, no, don't do that. No, don't say that. But you can still 
overcome, uh, uh, override that voice if you want to. Well, that's the Holy Spirit directing us to live uh, to do what the Word of God says. And He's empowered you to do it. But He's not going to He's not going to force you. You know what I mean? He's not going to make you not do it. He's going he's to he's bring a conviction or a convincing in you that says you shouldn't do that. But you still have a free will where you can do it. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. All right. Now, now. Jesus said that the practice of sin or the commitment to sin enslaves us. Mm -hmm. Turn with me to John chapter 8. Now the point of my teaching, the point of my teaching this about the sin here is to help us to, to stay focused on walking in the spirit. I want to show you what happens when we don't. John 8, and we're going to jump in verse 34. This whole chapter is a good chapter, but we're going to jump in the middle of it, right in verse 34. If you have it, say, I have it. Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave to sin. Now, the key word there is commit. See, when you just read that, you think he's talking about, well, when you make a mistake. No. Commit means to be devoted to. In, in reference to what he's talking about, he's really talking about he who practices sin. Mm -hmm. When you practice sin, you are not showing evidence that you're a slave to it. Mm -hmm. Listen at the Amplified Bible, that same verse. It says, Jesus answered them, I assure you, most solemnly, I tell you, whoever commits and practices sin is a slave of sin. 